All right, you're all unmuted. Eleven, I think. Well, who's not here? Hmm. I can't think who it is. All right, we'll just keep. We'll just get rolling. We are going to. Oh, I need to share it first. Share screen, share. And I need this right here. I think I posted this. I think it's up. Oh, we're going to talk about abstract classes, which are very similar to interfaces. Oh, let me uh, display settings, duplicate. There we go. Oh. I can't see you guys. Can you see the screen? Can, does it say abstract classes? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just, I just can't see you guys anymore, but that's okay. I'll just keep rolling. Um, interfaces. We're going to review interfaces very quickly. So we have public class main, uh, public set. I wonder if I can um, pointer, do a pen here. So we have public class main, public stack void, of course. And uh, we have an object cat one. Cat is a new cat. And we're going to do an animal sound, which is meow. So it outputs meow and sleep, which outputs just, you know, Z's for sleeping. But the interface is mammal. And uh, we have one uh, method that needs to be implemented and another one. So we have animal sound and sleep both need to uh, be implemented in anything that implements mammal. And so uh, these have no body, no body in them. And then if cat implements mammal, at the very least, we're going to have to have one, we're going to have to have two methods at a minimum. But uh, the class cat can have more methods than just what needs to be implemented. So we have animal sound meow and sleep is disease. So a very quick review of interfaces. And uh, so I looked at, well, what are, what are the questions going to be on the quiz or the test? And it's a lot of uh, really vocabulary. So you need to know that classes implement interfaces. That's what the word we need to use. All right, how do I go to how do I go to next? So let me just hit this. Abstract classes, which are similar to interfaces, but we can actually do more with them. So abstract classes are used to define a class that will be used only to build new classes, just like interfaces. They're like instructions on how the class should be built. No objects will ever be instantiated from an abstract class. In other words, you can't have a new, uh, it, it can't say new and then abstract class. Any subclasses that extend a super abstract class must implement all methods. So just like interfaces, any abstract methods must be implemented uh, in anything that extends it. Define as abstract in the super class unless the extending class is an abstract class. So if what extends it, is an abstract class, then those rules don't apply. Abstract classes are typically used when you know quite a bit about an object and what you want the object to do, but yet there are still a few unknowns. So we, want the, we wanted the animals to make sounds, but we don't know specifically what sound needs to be made. We'll leave that up to what extends it. For interfaces, it's what implements. For classes, it's what extends. I need next. So what do we have here? We have public class main, public static void. Here's the main body right here. Let's let's go down to, oh, do I want interface again? Is this the same thing? This is the same thing. I don't want that. I want this right here. So here's the main method. So here's the main method. And I was getting feedback last period too. So I don't know what, I don't know why it didn't do it last week, but now it's doing it all of a sudden. I got to figure that out. I think it's on my end, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to adjust a few things here. I don't know. 
Uh, all right, so here's the abstract class here. Here's what we're looking at right there. Abstract class. So we can have instance variables, public int age, no problem. Now that's different than interfaces. We weren't allowed to use instance variables at all. We can make them public, no problem. We can make them private, which means nothing else could access. Only, only this class, only this abstract class could, uh, could uh, access these. You can actually have protected, which means uh, they can be accessed by subclasses. And uh, I looked up the definition more extensively and also uh, they could be accessed by packages, which is beyond what we're gonna do in this class. This is like a, a constant when you have private final static string name, but the problem with this one is you need it to say equal to. So this one would need a value. Now this is more, I'm talking about quiz questions, not necessarily about how we're gonna do programs in here, but a quiz or a test, you need to know that right there. They're gonna try to trip you up a little bit. Private final static birth month is equal to two. The problem with this one, it does, doesn't say int or string or double or whatever. This one needs a variable type. So that's a problem. Hopefully I have one that actually works. This one's good. This one's good right here. No problem. Private final static string first name is equal to Barney. So that's not really a variable anymore. It's a constant. Uh, and then this right here is a method just for this class, which is different from interfaces. Interfaces can't have these kind of methods. So I have the variable age and the method set age, which as long as the class inherits this one, as long as it extends animal, it's gonna inherit set age. This is a public abstract, abstract void sound. So anything that extends animal must have. So this is a must have for anything that extends this class, this animal class. This one's commented out. Uh, I could take that out, but, but I was actually running these to make sure everything worked. Public abstract void run. The problem with this one is you can't have a body on an abstract method. So you're saying that anything extend anything that extends this would need run, but you can't have a body. If it's an abstract, it can't be implemented, not within the animal class. Uh, this was another quiz or test question that I saw where the method can be protected. It can be public, it can be protected also. And and I'm I'm a little, you know, we haven't talked much about protected all year, but all of a sudden the author of our curriculum starts throwing this in. So just consider public and protected very similar. Now here's a class that actually extends animal. So an, a dog is an animal, so it extends animal. Now notice it doesn't implement. You implement, um, what are they called? <laughs> interfaces. interfaces, thank you. You implement interfaces, you extend classes. And so the only method that this would absolutely have to have is sound. That's what we said right here. Uh, where's the static? This one right here. That's what it has to have. Uh, if it doesn't have that, you're going to get an error and the program's not going to work. So very similar to interfaces, but a little bit more versatile. They're more useful. Any questions on this page? All right. An abstract method cannot be contained in a non-abstract class. An abstract method, so if you have, you can't say abstract method in a non-abstract class. That's not, you can't do that. So in other words, in this, um, in this uh, dog class, we could not have this in here. We couldn't have abstract. If a subclass of an abstract superclass does not implement all the abstract methods, the subclass must be defined as abstract. So we already kind of talked about that. If it's, uh, if it's extending this, the, the abstract class, it must have all of the abstract methods in it. In other words, in a non-abstract subclass extended from an abstract class, all the abstract methods must be implemented. Abstract methods are non-static. In other words, you have to have an object to run them. An abstract class cannot be instantiated using the new operator, but you can still define its constructors which are invoked in the constructors of its subclasses. So you can't define a variable as a new uh, abstract class. You can't do that. Um, 
you can set it as abstract, but then it has to be a new class. The constructors of an abstract class, first of all, you can have constructors of an abstract class, they will be invoked by the subclasses. So when you make that new subclass, when you make an object, the new subclass, uh, the, the abstract constructors happen. The constructors can be public or they can be private. That's mainly for a test or a quiz. A class that contains abstract methods must be abstract. So you can't have abstract methods in a non-abstract class. This is a little redundant. However, it's possible to define an abstract class that doesn't contain any abstract methods. So you don't have to have an abstract method, method in an abstract class. In this case, you cannot create instances of the class using the new operator. So just because you don't have any abstract methods in there doesn't mean all of a sudden it's not an abstract class as long as you're using that word. Uh, let's look at this before I do this. How do I get out of this? Stop. No. End show. I want to end it for right now. Uh, now I can discard that. I'm going to bring this up. That'll be all right. Here is everything kind of in action. Notice that I have, um, oh, I don't want to cover that up. Cat equals a new cat. So uh, cat, what is cat? Cat implements mammal. Mammal is an interface. So I start out with interfaces. So I had to have sound and I had to have sleep. So in the main, we can say cat equals new cat, no problem. Animal sound, sleep, and when I run it, hopefully this runs okay. Uh, no, I think I, oh, I think I left the errors in. Let me do that first. No problem here, no problem here, no problem here. All right, so here's some problems. Public, let's start up here. Private, final, static. What's wrong with this line right here? Oh, I guess it says needs a variable type. I guess I can't ask you that. All you gotta do is read it. Um, this one needs a value. If I do it as a final, so I'm gonna comment that out. That would give me a, an error. Static birth month, There's I don't say it's a double or an integer or a string or anything. So I'd have to comment that out. That would give me a problem. This should be okay. And it's just telling me that I haven't used it. Uh, public abstract void run. Abstract methods cannot contain a body. So if it says public abstract, you're saying whatever extends animal must have this method in it. But, and, but you can't implement it in the abstract class. So that would be a problem there. In the main, everything is good. Animal object equals new dog, a new cat. Mammal is an interface. So this would be a, you can't, an interface cannot equal a new interface. So that would be a problem. And also, what is the abstract? Is abstract, um, is animal. Do I have that up there? No, animal equals new dog, that's okay. Mammal equals new cat, that's okay. That's an uh, abstract equals class. We couldn't have mammal cat three is equal to new mammal, that'd be a problem. Oh, no, no, did I already have that? I didn't want mammal, I wanted, I'm sorry you guys, animal. cat four or whatever is equal to new animal. That wouldn't, this wouldn't be allowed. So we couldn't have that. It's going to give me an error right there. It already said it error. Can't do that. Let's see if this will run now. Yep. Everything's good now. Back to this. I don't think I want to go full screen with this. Uh, can, can, so description, interface, and abstract class can contain abstract methods, both yes. Can contain non-abstract methods. Interfaces cannot. Abstracts can, yes. Can, can, can contain constructors. Interfaces are very limited. Uh, abstract classes you can do a lot more with, so yes on that one. Uh, can they be instantiated? Neither one can be instantiated. 
And so what that means is you can't have it after the new. So if we go back here, we can say mammal, that's no problem. That's an interface. Cat two, as long as it equals a new cat. We just can't say mammal equals new mammal or animal equals new animal. So we can't say new interface or new abstract class. Not possible. Can be extended. Interfaces, yes, can be extended. Can be implemented. Abstract classes cannot be implemented. Can contain instance variables. No for interfaces, yes. Can contain final instance variables. No for interfaces, yes for abstract. Can contain final class variables? Uh, yes. Uh, they can both contain final. Remember, an abstract can contain final. Can contain class variables? No. No, no class variables. And finally on this, um, classes extend classes. Interfaces can actually in extend interfaces, even though we didn't really play around with that at all. Uh, so same extends same. The classes implement interfaces classes implement interface yep so a lot of terminology today and what is legal and what is not now fortunately we did do interfaces so uh these uh these new classes uh they're they're just a little bit more useful i would say any questions tomorrow so we're going to start a lab today and it goes six i think there's six different phases <clears throat> right now, I would like to do all six, but it might bleed into the next topic. I don't want to spend six days on these because there are, they're very close to what interfaces are. I don't think you're going to have a hard time with it, uh, but we're going to create a what's called a golf game. It's a card game, and so you actually want the lowest amount rather than the highest amount. So it's very similar to 21, I would imagine. Uh, I've done the first couple labs, so I haven't done them all yet, uh, but it's very similar to the blackjack that we did. So it, hopefully it goes very quickly for you as well. When we come back on Thursday, uh, we'll, we'll go over some quiz type questions and get you ready for the test. And then uh, we'll probably take this test rather quickly. So this is a very uh, short unit for us. So if we look at the assignments, there's the notes. I don't know if you can, I know that's probably really tiny for you. And make it bigger. Notes worksheet is a Google form. It's only four questions. You should go very quick, and hopefully the lab isn't too bad for you as well. Uh, so if you'd like to start the lab, I can stay on here for another. We have another, um, so let's go to 30, right? Another 12 minutes or so. If you'd like to stay on here and work on it, that'd be great. Uh, if you want to take off, that's fine. So uh, I'm going to stop sharing here. And so you have a lab and a worksheet to do. So uh, if you want to stick around and work on the lab, that'd be great. If you don't, I will see you on Thursday. On the lab, uh, yeah. like for the lab description, it says that uh, jacks are one, uh, queen and king are 10. Yeah. But then on the, uh, the outputs, like when you try to submit it, it says uh, that the jack is 11 and then the queen is 12. Oh, okay. Let me take a look at that. You can edit. Jack, yeah, it does say 11 and Queen of Hearts is 12. Hmm. I'm going to look, what I'm going to do is look at um, the lab sheet and see why, yeah, why is that different? Hold on. I don't know why I'm getting feedback today. It's driving me nuts. I'm going to the lab sheet. Jack of spades is 11 and queen of hearts is 12. That's what it says on it, on the lab sheet. 
So jacks are one, and what that, that queen should be 10. Okay, Jack, Queen Ten. All right, I'll change. I gotta change that. Copy it. Updated, done. All right, Michael, submit it and see what it says. It worked now. Okay. Yeah, and I'll keep looking at that and see why the lab sheet was wrong. I, I, right now, I just think it was just wrong. And then on the, uh, the abstract worksheet one, um, the first name and the last name have to be a number. <laughs> Let me fix that, obviously. Where did I put that? I put that under worksheets. I don't know if you'll have to reload it or what. I didn't tell you guys you have to change all your names to numbers. Short answer. Oh, number is the default. That's that's very strange. Did I make it a question? Change that to text. I don't know why I did that. It's very odd. Text. Saving. All changes saved. Reload it and try it again. Please. And I said in the description that your answers could be different, but you could still have it right. Like if you chose a different variable name or something like that, I'm not taking a right or wrong grade on that. Just a completion, just to give it a try and see what you come up for an answer. Do you guys hear that feedback or is it just me? You hearing it? Anybody? No. You don't hear it at all? Just me. Okay. So it's my problem. Okay. I can handle that. Like you don't hear it right now. Nope. Oh, good. The high pitch thing. That high pitch whistle, yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing it. You are hearing it? Okay. I, so I can my. hear it faintly. Faintly? It, it kind of goes up and down, depending on. Maybe. Maybe it's my earbuds. Chad, say hi. Hello. Yeah, okay. If I wear these big monster headphones, I think it goes away.